All right, check this out. Here we have the Asus Zephyrus G15 with an 8-core Ryzen 5900HS in 80W 3070 and a 165Hz 1440p display. This video will demonstrate frame rate and thermal performance expectations for Battlefield 5, and we will compare it to a 125W 3070 from two different laptops, and we will, of course, name these as the test proceeds. These results are using the Turbo Mode Profile that will apply 100 MHz core and 120 MHz memory overclock to the GPU and a custom fan curve to maximize fan speed. Using these in-game settings as the base for our tests, we'll start off in the firing range at the display's native resolution of 1440p. Our frame rate is around 120 FPS. Compare this to a 125 Watt 3070 from the Ryzen-equipped Mac G3, the Zephyrus is about 20% behind. At 1080p, the gap widens with our Zephyrus at 150 FPS compared to the 35% increase produced from the 125 Watt 3070 inside the MSI GE66. At this point, you might even come to the conclusion that a 125 Watt 3070 at 1440p is as fast as an 80 Watt 3070 at 1080p. It definitely looks that way, and in some titles, that is accurate. Taking the G15 into multiplayer at the display's native resolution and frame rate performance here is rarely into the triple digits. Quite often in my testing with this Zephyrus, I see this 5900HS cap out at 35 watts when combined with the GPU. The software lets you move this up to 45 watts, and that is where I always have it, but it rarely works. This could be something Asus has done recently in an update to balance out the thermal load as hardware and skin temps are rather high. Compare this to the 5800H equipped Mac G3 as it's pulling 47 watts or higher while saturating its 125 watt 3070. Battlefield 5 with 63 other players, micro destruction, and projectile weapons asks a lot from your hardware. When you consider the 5900HS in the Zephyrus is hitting 90 degrees Celsius with liquid metal, has to share heat from an 80 watt GPU, and its fans are maxed out and it's roughly twice as loud as the mech, you really have to love what this G15 brings beyond gaming. And before I go, the Mech G3 will now include liquid metal on the CPU, unlike the results shown here. Thank goodness, because 96 degrees is way too hot for me.